welcome back. So this is another video about basically an honest review of what I actually think about a car. I'm not going to be like car wow or, or top gear or anything like that who would do their journalists reviews. But what is this car? This is a Volkswagen Golf R. Not the GTI, it's the R. Um, when I when I saw it I thought oh because I prefer the GTI but when I turned it on the engine my goodness, the grumble is epic. It's actually really nice, the grumble is nice. It kind of makes me think that Golf R is actually, he's, he's actually a decent car. I have to apologise for the uh, nose, I've got um, a daft spot on it. Stupid bloody face and body. Um, so basically, what is this um, car? I think it's a 2 litre turbo, um, it must be a turbo as I said because this car is, when you put your foot down, it goes, like, I mean it really goes. Um, I would say this this could compete easily with the, like a, like a, a 4 series Grand Coupe, easily. I went from, I wanted to overtake, I was doing 60, I wanted to overtake, I put my foot down, bloody hell it went up to 90 quick. Within easily two seconds, bang, it was up to 90. So if you did, if you did a starting, if you did a, a stop to 60, I reckon this could do it in easily three, four seconds max, I reckon, not to 60, easily. Um, it is a really nice car, very comfy, as I said. Um, as I pointed out in the past, it does have a electric button handbrake. I personally, I'm not keen on them. I mean, I'll drive a car with them, with it, with it in it. But I'm not personally keen on them because, as I said, if the battery goes on your car, you're buggered. You can't jump start it. If, you, if it's not a normal, you know, a normal pull down lever handbrake, you can drop the handbrake, and you can just go and push start it and kick start it, basically, as you do. Um, it is great. Um, um, it had 45 miles on the clock, um, the rate range, and when I set off. I had 70 miles to do, so I put seven pound in. It gave me 80 miles range, which you t think would be like 10 miles left. And the, currently the odometer and all that stuff, the dashboard says I've got 20 miles left. Which, and so really, and I did about, I think I did 20 miles, 20, 35 miles, and it only dropped by about 10 or 12 mile range. So that just shows you that if you don't drive it like an idiot, you drive it just not normally like you should do um, it'll do well if you drive it like it's meant to be driven as in bad boy not bad boy racer but like if you drive it sports way it'll go down quicker like anything you put your foot down it'll go um, it's a very nice car as I said the seats are lovely very comfortable as I said sorry about the um, the, the wet stains on the um, passenger side to get that revving engine um, exhaust thing at the beginning I had to put my bag down on a wet floor then I put that on the seat not knowing it was wet my apologies but it is a very nice comfy seat it is automatic as I said with the DSG I'm not quite sure what DSG stands for I guess it's some kind of um, sport digital sport or driving sport or something or other let me know in the comments if you know what DSG stands for I'd love to know myself um, it is fully loaded, but yes, it has radio. Media, which I don't really know what that is. I'm guessing that's if you want to use your your phone as a music player and use it via Bluetooth. You've obviously got your phone. I don't know the voice is. You've got a navigator, sat nav. You've got traffic, so you can see where the traffic may be in the area. Um, menu, you've got general stuff you know um vehicle traffic just basically you're saying on there everything you've got um you can just switch to it you basically press menu and you're enough to do all that fingerprint stuff and you can basically just control it all via that obviously car it tells you all about the car whether one car's got whether whether something's got a puncture or whatever it doesn't say it's got a punch of this, but it does say on the dashboard at the minute that it came up that it's got low pressure and also it needs petrol. Um, the glove box is just a standard one, obviously it's got your um, 
your stuff in there, your CD player, your SD card. The SD cards, um, as I said, one of them is, or two of them are for the sat nav, because it does come with the sat nav, and the disc, the disc is in there. The stupid electric um, handbrake. Now I did say in the last one, it does have a, a decent back seat as well. It does have good leg room, but <laughs> this this seat here is, is further back. As you can see on this one, a lot more leg room, plenty of leg room, you know. Great um, climate control in the car. It has obviously a glove, um, the CD player, and, and everything is in the glove compartment, which is great. It's height hidden out of the way. You don't need to have everything on display. I don't think some things like, for instance, per Peugeots and like and um, Vauxhalls, buttons, and even Mercedes. The buttons are all <coughs> are all there in your face. You don't. I don't think you need them in your face. The um, the uh, steering wheel is lovely, all leather, has enough enough um, controls to deal with, and the floppy pedal gearbox, which is, I think are great for floppy paddles. The um, dashboard doesn't have um, doesn't have the um, the sat nav like in the Audi TTS line that I've done a, a review on, but it's a decent dashboard. You've got a sat nav there. How often? Why do you need to look at the dashboard? As in your, your odometer. Um, thing and see the sat nav when you can just look down look to the side for two seconds okay I go in there okay I'm going off in two miles but right I'm done um, it does have automatic lights as well if you put it if you choose to have automatic lights it's a lovely color as well I think the same color as the car that I did last time the Seat Leon FR that I reviewed last um, same color I think or very similar color it's very nice color I do like this dark midnight um, blue it's like Volkswagen have just basically thought, you know what, a GTI and a Golf R, let's just put a bit of money into it, make it a bit feel a bit more luxury and look better. And they've succeeded to be honest. I would buy one of these personally. But if you want a car that can go be driven slowly and not bad on fuel. Um not bad on fuel ish compared to for some for, for sports cars. You've got it and if you want that to, to really push it you've got the ability to it's a really good car um, it's obviously been built in the same um, factory as the Polo and the Seat Ibiza and, <coughs> and Leon as we or as I said in the last video that they're all it's all the same company basically so they're all the same factory just different production lines so it's all built in the same factory it sounds great great would I have it over the GTI I've not driven a GTI I've always wanted to drive a GTI I'd love to drive a GTI but I would definitely have one of these but I'm a BMW guy personally but if I had to go to something different maybe I would go for a Golf I do like the Golf it's something different I like sport a sporty car but I also like something that's a hatchback because you don't realize how much you miss a hatchback until you don't have one my last um, BMW 3 Series wasn't a hatchback, it was a sedan or a saloon and you don't realise how, when the back seats don't go down and the back window don't go, don't, doesn't go up and how much less access you've got to it but it's a lovely car, I do miss that car. Now I've got a crappy 1 Series which I'm not very happy with but I'm not selling it until I find the right car. This car is great, it's a very lovely car, um, if you like it. Tame it's an automatic as well, which it's I think is automatic, I like which means automatics, especially when you're in traffic, automatic is the best. No, no, no clutch pumping. It, it that can ruin your clutch. Whereas on this, you just take your foot off the accelerator, put it up on the brake, and just feather the feather the brake in traffic. And when you're ready, just go onto the accelerator, and, whoosh, and you're gone. It's a, it's really great. Um, the wheels, as I said, are, as well, they are lovely. They're nice size. Um, decent design personally, I, well decent design, I wouldn't personally have that design of wheels, I'd have to choose something different, but in general, nice size, it's a nice size for the size of the car, they're not too low profile, so you, don't, you do feel the road, but you don't feel like some cars, some cars you really feel the road, you don't feel this road, 
too much you feel enough to drive it it's a great car um, it's a great hatchback but it is overpriced like most um, <coughs> like golfer knows are overpriced for the money but for competing with BMW Mercedes it is way below price which is great you can get this what 20 25 30 grand you can't get a, a 3 4 series a decent one for less than 30 to 35 grand nowadays so this for this is definitely competes with those big boys in that in that um luxury um, market of BMW and Mercedes and Audi um, let me know what you think thanks again for listening and watching and tuning in to me as I said <coughs> my um, my YouTube channel analytics say that not only 2% are subscribed 98 aren't subscribed so if you could just click that subscribe button share like him as well because I need those likes because then I can get more views and also I know what you want to see so mm -hmm. like the channel like the um, the videos and there's gonna be a lot more stuff to come more bike stuff more car stuff so um, as I said thank you very much um, for watching and I'll see you all very very soon bye bye